In this video, we're going to solve this unknown at rule at Tailwind CSS. So if you are using uh, Tailwind directives like at Tailwind or uh, also at apply, you're going to get this uh, green squiggly here usually in a normal CSS file. Now to solve this, you can install an extension that um, Tailwind actually depends on. So they actually depend on post CSS, which is not actually an extension, but uh, this is a technology that Tailwind depends on and they have an extension for supporting that here in Visual Studio Code. So if you just install this one and make sure it's enabled, maybe you need to refresh and reload the Visual Studio Code. Then if you go back, you'll see you don't have that green squiggly line anymore. So we fixed the issue. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.